we're going to look at some vintage Karim Gawad in the front backhand here. This is what he's become pretty famous for. And, you know, there's just so much good going on here. It's something I encourage my players to do, the idea of quick feet, soft hands. But it's not just quick feet, soft hands. It's, it's the swing. It's how he's doing it. It's how he's going into that front part of the court, really exploding onto it, really getting on quick. Huge swing, really showing that big swing, tilting that racket over a little bit. You know, all the signals there are going, I'm going to hit this hard. I'm going to hit it deep. So then James's body weight, look where that's going. He really has to go and commit to that cross court. James does see it and he's able to stop it. By then, it's very hard to get the frame back in into that position to be able to get it there. So, you know, the way he plays it is just phenomenal. So let's take a little bit of a breakdown look at it. And it's quite nice from this angle. So good setup there. So yeah, it's an easy shot. But he goes in, there's that drop of that shoulder, that tilt. He really gets in that, that, that strong position. And you know what? you can't pick that he's going to play short there he comes in and even in that position there he's driving his body weight in but he just throws his elbow out a little bit earlier now he doesn't drive the shoulder as much throws the elbow out opens the racket face and he's able to just stop his swing really quickly that's what he does so well there's no follow through in that he's just able to feel the ball on the middle of his strings giving a lot of side cut a lot of undercut and stops it in there one thing I always like to look at as well is that back foot slide. Look at how all his body weight has been absorbed into the shot, butters the ball very softly, slows it down, and he uses the momentum of his body to actually just contribute to a tiny bit of the end part of the shot there. You know, so there's so much you can take from this and try it out. So definitely something that you need to practice over time and get better and better at. So as he goes in again, big shape, comes on in, massive just touches the ball, just really softens it up. And that in itself is a good drop shot. So the quality of the drop shot, even if he hadn't disguised, was going to be pretty good. But it's because of that disguise, because of that big swing, he sends James the wrong way, just touches it in. And you know what? Very hard to get back. So one more time for good measure from the front angle. Here we go. Big swing, soft hands, slows the swing down right at the bit, doesn't follow through much, just really stops that swing a little bit. Really high level skill to be able to do, but something I think we can all take, admire and actually look to practice in our own games.